Melanie McQuaid. I'm a former professional mountain biker and road cyclist and current professional triathlete. And I coach the Melrad Multisport Squad. Today, I'm going to show you a series of exercises to improve your ankle range of motion and your flexibility and your strength. These exercises are really important because uh, range of motion and strength is key to accessing um, adequate dorsiflexion so that you can land underneath your hips when you're running. It's important for developing explosive strength and power, especially in lateral movements like you need for trail running. And we also use our ankles a lot to pump the mountain bike in single tracks. So um, your ankles are a pretty Pretty key uh, joint that uh, you need to work pretty hard to uh, make sure it's optimized. I am really not very good at any of this stuff, so I feel like I'm a really good de demo for this because remember, we're training to be good triathletes. We're not training to be really great at strength exercises. So just like allow yourself the space to just start from wherever you are. Don't worry if some of this stuff is hard or um, you struggle to like access some of these shapes. Uh, it'll come with time. So we're gonna start with a low squat and everybody's version of the low squat is just dependent on their body. I have a hard time getting my heels down to the ground. That's the ideal is that you have a nice low hinging squat and your heels are actually touching the ground. I can't do that, so whatever. You can go through these exercises and not use your arms for anything or if you need some balance, put your arms down wherever you need, it doesn't matter. Okay, so our first exercise is, is just like a little flow from this low squat on, on our heels down onto our shins and then leaning back, coming back up onto our shins, tucking our toes underneath and coming back into that low squat. So it goes from low squat to knees, to shins, lean back to shins, back up, tuck your toes on your knees and then come back into your low squat. Second variation is to go from your low squat and just drop one knee at a time down to the ground. Drop one knee, come back into your low squat, and then bring your other knee down, come back into a low squat. Third variation is to put your one hand down and lean over to the side and come back to the center and then lean over to the other side and come back to center. Next variation is to take, put your weight into one foot and then bring one leg out in front and then come back to your low squat. And then bring the other leg out in front and come back to the low squat. So again, if you can do this without using your hands, <laughs> that's better. But when you're like me and you're not on your heels, you don't have as much stability. So you probably need a little hand to like stay balanced. In our third variation, uh, we're going to go, we're going to take our foot into that outstretched in front. Then we're going to rotate it out behind and then shift our weight onto that back leg and stretch the uh, opposite leg out straight and then rotate through it, bring that leg back out in front and come back to center. So I'll talk you through it, like describing where your weight is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put my right foot out in front. So my weight is on my left foot. So weight on the left. Put your hands down just to get get used to this. Right leg goes out in front. Right leg back behind me. I shift my hips back over the right leg. Left leg out, stretched in front. Come back. Put my weight into the left leg. Come through. Bring my right leg out in front and then come back to that low squat again. It's a tough one, but you'll get it. So left leg out in front, left leg out behind, shift back into a lunge, runner's lunge, come back through, left leg back out in front, come back to my low squat. We'll do one more on the other side, right leg out in front, right leg shifts, back behind into the runner's lunge, come through onto my left leg, right leg out in front, and back down into my low squat. So from Stevie and I, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you found any of these exercises too hard or you have some restrictions because of your knees or previous injuries, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll try and give you some stuff to help you 
um, work on your ankle mechanics from wherever you're at. And again, to all the Xterra family, I miss you guys. And uh, I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, keeping healthy, safe and happy. Cheers.